What's up my mermaids? Welcome back to our channel and for today's video, usapang kilikili na naman guys. Isa sa pinaka-viewed nating video sa ating channel ay ang ating baskil video or basang kilikili video. I did the part 1 of that and this is the part 2 and this is a one-step remedy to avoid underarm sweating. Doon sa una kong video, diniscuss ko na yung mga home remedies na pwede natin gawin para syempre hindi mamawis yung kilikili natin. Pero ngayon, meron ako na-discover guys accidentally na hindi talaga namawis yung kilikili ko the whole time pag tapos siyang i-apply. And again, ang ating i-discuss today. So if you're interested to know more about this, guys, please keep on watching. Thank you so much, my mermaids, for staying with me. So ayan, guys, pasensya na kayo sa mga ingay na marinig nyo all around because as you all know, dito kami naka-quarantine ni Zing sa bahay nila sa Las Piñas and um, wala akong talagang filming setup here so I'm just finding the right spots here at their home and syempre may mga kapitbahay kami and narinig talaga yung mga pukpuk nila or mga whatever man. So pasensya nyo na. I'll try my best to make my voice louder para doon kayo nakafocus sa information na ating i-discuss. So ayan guys, going straight to our video, one step remedy sa pamamawis ng ating kilikili. If you wanna know more about the reasons why na mamawis ang ating kilikili, diniscuss ko na yan sa ating first part. So, I'll put the link somewhere up here and on the description box para kung gusto nyo mapanood yung video na yun, you can head on to that. Pero, very quickly, I will just, you know, um, discuss why. So, pwede may hyperhidrosis, sakit yan na talagang excessive sweating, or sa init ng panahon, katulad ngayon, sobrang init, lagi na mamawis ang ating likod, kilikili, iba-ibang parts ng ating katawan. Meron na tayong mga nakakaing pagkain na nakaka-increase ng sweating. So, everything about that I discussed on my first video. So, ano nga ba itong isang product na na-discover ko na talagang hindi na mawis ang kilikili ko the whole time pagkatapos siyang i-apply. Hindi na mawis, hindi na maho, at pumuti pa. Plus points, pumuti pa ang ating kilikili. So, I made a video about using toothpaste as a whitening um, ingredient for our kilikili. I mean, a whitening um, remedy for our kilikili. And talagang na, ano ako, talagang na, what to call this, na-surprise ako because after I apply the toothpaste on my underarm, hindi lang siya pumuti, guys. Nagulat ako na hindi siya na mawis kasi actually sa anxiety ko. Sweating is one of my symptoms. So, problema ko talaga yung sweaty palms, sweaty feet. Minsan yung underarms ko nag-sweat talaga siya because of the tension in my body. So, sobrang ang ganda nitong discovery ko na to because just toothpaste, applying toothpaste on your underarm. So, if you want to whiten your underarm lang, use a white toothpaste. Yung wala talagang mga kulay kasi yung mga chemicals yung maaaring maka-irritate sa underarms natin. Pero ito guys, na-discover ko talaga. Local product siya. And I love this brand, the Fresh Philippines Charcoal Toothpaste. This is only 99 pesos from Watson's, guys. And sobrang effective niya sa pagpapaputi ng kilikili. Although, hindi ko naman talaga kailangan magpaputi ng kilikiling. Sa sweating lang talaga. And ang galing niya, guys, leaving it for 10 minutes sa aking kilikili ng umaga, talagang um, in-experiment ko siya. Hindi ako namawis ng bonggang-bongga. Hindi siya totally na-stop ha. Meron konting pa mamawis, pero hindi yung to the point na babakat sa t-shirt or talagang sobrang comfortable ng feeling. So, it's very easy to do guys. As you all know, what we will do is we'll just get product in our hand. So, this one I love kasi meron siyang charcoal ingredient. So, it means meron siya talagang whitening ingredient guys on top of talagang hindi pa siya magsisweat. So, I love this brand from Fresh Philippines. So, ayan. I love the charcoal variant talaga. Meron na silang Himalayan na ganito, yung color pink. I love that for my teeth. Sobrang fresh yung breath the whole day talaga. And then, I'll just put it on my underarm like that. Like a mask. Very easy. And you will feel the cooling sensation right away. So, ayan. Like what I said earlier, if you want it to be a whitening remedy, better use a white toothpaste. Yung talagang may baking soda ganyan, yung white lang. Because it's safer, because wala siyang halong chemicals kesa nun sa mga toothpaste na mga may gel or color blue, ganyan. So, um, it's better for you to use that. But this one, I tried it. It's whitening, it's anti-sweat, and I love this product. So, again, guys, let's just spread it around. Do so. There you go. And then, papatuin lang natin siya 
for like 10 minutes. We'll leave it in there for 10 minutes and then I'll be back and show you the result guys. Hello mermaids! I'm back with a towel on my hand because it's now time for us to remove the mask on our underarm. So, mapapansin nyo habang um, pinapatuyo nyo siya sa kilikili nyo, talagang meron siyang stinging sensation na malamig. Hindi siya yung uncomfortable na singing na mahapde. Malamig siya sa kilikili, especially if you're using that white toothpaste. Sobrang anghang kasi nun. So, meron ganun siyang sensation sa kilikili. Pero ako, nasasarapan ako sa kanya kasi mainit. So, cooling yung sensation niya sa aking underarm. But... Now, it's time for me to remove it. So, as you can see, black in toothpaste, pero na gray siya sa kilikili ko. So, ayan. Medyo sticky lang siya when you remove it. And make sure to do it very slowly. Actually, guys, yan, habang um, in-erase natin siya sa kilikili natin, marami akong nabasa about toothpaste sa ating underarm. Siyempre, nag-research muna ako and everything before I tried it on my kilikili and did that experiment for the whitening. Actually, nakaka-remove din daw ng body odor for some ang pag-a-apply ng toothpaste sa kilikili. Maybe because mermaids, na ano niya eh, nasa stop niya yung sweating. So, kapag mas drier ang ating underarm, mas less yung ating chance na magkaroon ng body odor kasi less bacteria sa ating kilikili. So, maybe that's the reason why I'm not really a chemist. So, I don't know kung meron bang ingredient mismo ang toothpaste, kung bakit nakakaano siya, nakakatanggal ng body odor or nakakaano ng sweating. But, I love the result on my underarm. And, you can try it. But, of course, my reminder every time is before you do anything, apply anything on your skin, do a patch test. So, put a little bit of product at the back of your elbow and then wait 24 to 48 hours kung meron siyang reaction. Pag wala, good, then you can try it on your skin. So, ayan guys, tuloy na natin ang ating pagbubura. Alam nyo naman sa ating channel, mas gusto natin yung mga remedy na talagang makakatulong at makakatipid tayo. Hindi tayo gagastos ng sobrang laki para sa beauty and skincare. So, ayan. Mas maganda siya guys actually na mahugasan siya eh. Kesa yung towel lang. So, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use a towel for this. So, ayan. Wait lang guys ha. Hindi ko siya ma mabura ng bongga. I think I have to go to the bathroom and wash it off out back. So, ayan mermaids, we're back. And pawis na pawis ako galing sa CR because I rinsed my underarm really well. Talagang hindi ako mapakalay kapag yung kilikili ko merong mga naiiwang mga particles kanyan. So, ayan siya guys. Super cooling pa rin talaga nung feeling niya sa kilikili ko. If you can see, my kilikili is not perfect. May mga shadow siya na parang maite. Meron siya kasi mga chicken skin sa pagsishave. Especially now, hindi makapunta sa mall at pagpalaser ng underarm. So, I'm really shaving it once in a while. So, Karoon na naman ako ng parang chicken skin sa kilikili. But I'm taming it actually. Meron akong gagawing video na na-discover ko din na home remedy na napakamura lang na pwedeng gawin sa kilikili chicken skin. And I'll upload that video soon. But for now, yun nga muna tayo sa baskel. Sobrang cooling nung sensation niya sa kilikili guys. Kahit na na-rinse off ko na siya with um, hygienic soap. So, yun na ko siya, hinugasan ko siya. Ang lamig pa rin sa pakiramdam. So, yung kabila kong kilikili, super moist and pawis because walang aircon ngayon and I'm filming in front of a window with, you know, the sun directly on my face. But, ayan. Ito, super dry and wala kang ma-feel na parang moist or wetness sa kilikili. And on this one, sobrang ano niya. Sobrang sarap sa pakiramdam at malamig. So, I'm not gonna talk about the etsura or the whitening of the kilikili because I did that video already. I'll put the link down below and somewhere up here para mapanood ninyo yung experiment na ginawa ko for whitening. But, yun nga, I recommend guys, if you want to whiten your kilikili using toothpaste, use a white toothpaste. So, I said it again, just to make to be clear. And also, syempre, lahat ng skin natin ay iba-iba ng texture, iba-iba ng um, sensitivity. So, hindi ibig sabihin na itong toothpaste na ginamit ko is swak sa akin, swak din siya sa'yo. So, always do a patch test muna. Kung gusto mo sa kilikili area, siguro sa small part ng kilikili mo muna siya. Pero ako, I recommend doing the patch test at the back of your elbow para at least, um, you know, makita mo muna yung sensitivity mo dun sa product. Kasi syempre, di ba, iba-iba talaga tayo ng hiyang, guys. So, ito, nag-work talaga siya sa akin because tinry ko siya mga twice. Talagang hindi nababasa yung kilikili ko. So, again, my mermaids, I hope that this toothpaste remedy for baskel will be effective para sa'yo. Dahil kung effective siya, 
sobrang laking ginhawa dahil nandiyan lang siya sa CR. Ginagamit mo pang sipilyo. Pwede yun, no? Pagka nag-sipilyo ka, pwede mo siyang tapalan para habang tutubrush siya, nagiging masya siya sa kilikili mo. For remedy, pwede siyang for deodorant, pwede siyang for whitening, at pwedeng pwede siya for underarm sweating as well. So, ayan, mermaids, please comment down below kung natry nyo na itong remedy na to And, Please go back to this video kapag na-try nyo na siya and effective din siya sa inyo guys. So, I'm really hoping effective sa inyong lahat. And if hindi, I'm really really sorry. I'm gonna try to look for more um, you know, home remedies and alternatives para maiwasan natin ang pamamawi sa ating kilikilis. So, mermaids, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I love you all and God bless. Bye!